The Doucet Alex is the automated system for clamp carrier. It has been composed of two main sections. The gluing section, which is a group of machines designed to prepare and apply the glue. And the loading section, which is a group of machines designed to load and material into the clamp carrier. In the gluing section, stave parts are fed through width measurement device, glue extrusion head, and glue detection. The stave are then fed laterally, one against each other, other to form a panel load for the clamp carrier. The width detection sensors allow the capability to add parameters on interface to be loaded with dry joint for every individual panels. Customer could expect saving on glue consumption as injection glue typically requires less glue than roller type application by 20 to 30 percent. It's also possible to activate a new glue detection capability by using a UV additive mix to the glue. When the panel load is completed, a moving holder takes control of the part and moving them in front of the clamp carrier for the loading sequence. When a ready signal is given, the clamp carrier loader and unloader device move into the clamp. First, to empty a dry section and release it, the dry panel over a roller conveyor. So here we are by the grippers. Uh, those gripper function, uh, basically they receive the load of material. Now based on the overall width of the panel, those gripper will receive material as soon as we reach the target. That gripper at the end will come down and pre-squeeze the panel. So, and there, that end is activated with a, uh, an encoder. So that's going to close up to the target we're supposed to meet. And remember, here it's only a pre-squeeze. So we're not squeezing out the glue yet. We're just like making sure that piece will not move from each other while they're moving on the roller. So that's the main function of this, is to make sure no piece move from each other as they move on the roller first. And the second function for those grippers is to locate the load in front of the clamp carrier at the proper position versus the length of the panel. Lateral chain feeder receive the stave from uppers and then singulate each piece through the glue application device. As the piece moves along the width measuring device to detect the last stave component, it will accumulate the total width of the panel and creating a dry joint when necessary. Otherwise, pieces are edge glued through a glue head extruder coming with a reserve tank uh, now I'm showing the glue extruding head, which has multiple holes and you can adjust for thickness. When the wood is being processed, the glue head uh, using air pressure to pull out the glue toward the wood surface. And we can see there's some piece of wood coming out asking for glue and some other where we don't, creating a dry joint. You can see the four glue lines being processed. Here I'm showing a dry sample of the glue lines and I want to show to you is what we can do with the key and scanner to define to read the glue lines and making sure we have the right quantity so if I take my piece and put it in front of the key and scanner we can look at the computer and see the green readings each grid reading is a glue bean being read over the length of the piece we're going to make an average of in of the sizes of the glue bead versus per square inch. And based on that, we're gonna compare it with the target to meet. If that target is met, we're gonna let the piece go through. If, the, if there's a default, there we can mark the board or reject it based on which parameter the customer want to apply. When the load of stave is ready, the gripper move to an accumulation zone and give a signal to the loading mechanism to trigger the sequence. When the ready signal is given, the clamp carrier loader unloader device move into the clamp carrier to empty the dry section at its rotate. And then it release the dry panel over the roller conveyor. Now, as pieces are moving out of the loading zone, the moving gripper bring the next load into standby. 
after the gripper has moved away from the loading position, the loader and unloader get the wood into the clamp carrier. The position of the staves is precisely positioning by the grippers based on the length parameter entered in the system the stave will be located at a different location in, re in relation to the clamp position to ensure a good pressing during the clamping operation. In the video sequencing that we're looking today uh, we can know there's two gluets working in synchronization to build the gluing operation at a faster rate. Now as we have two grippers that bring the material and the two gluehead, we're building the two loads simultaneously in order to be loaded into the clamp carrier. Now we can see the loading device has technically unload panel. Now, as soon as we're ready, we're gonna ship those two load into the loader zone. As soon as the gripper comes out of the seat away, the loader is gonna take the the charges and load it into the clamp carrier. Little note out there, there's two RT100 tightener on that clamp carrier. And the only reason for that is to go a quicker cycle so both charges can be tightened simultaneously and go as a quicker version. Okay, here we are by the clamp carrier. Uh, here we have a new device that is a RFID section follow-up. So basically we have a RFID track sensor and each section has been identified inside that plastic there's the RFID transmitter which we have identified by layers where cut the position. So each RFID as it rotates we know in which section we are unloading and unloading plus we measure what we put in and when we put out what it is. It allows us also to track our end of batches. So we know to get a signal to the exit panic when to empty the bundle that means that we have finished our production run and start the new sequence for set. Now we're going to see a view from the exit side of the Alex device. So basically uh, we're going to look at this time at the unloading sequence. The system we're looking on the video is coming also with our manic stacking device. So as for now, the unloading fork unload the dry panel from the clamp carriers. And then, as we're doing multiple charges, it will, uh, the system will count and make sure that we're putting in stack the right amount of pieces. So first of all, it's going to reference again the stopping fans and side shift it. When we met the panel count for one layer, the manic said, will stack them. You can note on the stack the one inch offset on every layers. Uh, the reason for that is to make sure the glue joint never fall one over each other uh, as they're not like even if the joint is dry technically you can always have some glue drips and to avoid any sticks between layers, wood dust to be put between uh, by offsetting the glue joint it's making sure that it's not it will not become like a full pack kind of thing and you can run so that system was designed to either pack like short pieces where it need a rotation uh, head or when we're gluing like long pieces then the rotation is not needed at that point 